My name is Slavin Sidikan. I'm from Gambia. I am 21 years old. I live in Gambia since 2016. I lost my dad since uh, I'm young. It's only me can solve myself. So that's why I have to go out and find another place like man. I'm living at the camp in Italy here now two years. I'm going to school to learn their language. Yeah, it's only that I'm doing here, you know. And sometimes to go and play football because I try work I don't have still, you know. My name is Baba Kamara. I'm a Gambian. I'm in Italy for now 10 years. My work is intermedia culture and translator for the immigrants. Here in Italy, things are getting worse every day because we have a lot of new laws created by this new government. It's about the asylum seekers, which is making it very difficult for somebody to find a document right now in Italy. My lawyer called me, he said, they give me a document two years. But now, I'm hearing they change the law two years to now anymore. Most of Gambians living inside the camps, they are having two years documents. So in that case, if you have two years document, they're gonna send you out from the camp. To stay in Italy without documents is not easy. Anywhere you go, you are scared of police. You cannot walk, you cannot travel. It's just like they, 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 they put you and they close you in a one place that you cannot move, just like a prison. Going to a uh, place where some Gambians are living in a bad situation. How many people are sleeping here? It's not too much now because everybody running. They have run everybody away. Police, police here, police here, and we don't have money here. We don't have nothing here. You can check. Let's go. Every day police here come. So when you see police here come, you go out. Problem. Two, three days after you come back. In these last months, the Minister of Interior of this country have declared that he must close all these kind of camps and everybody that they find inside, they must arrest you. Yeah, we have a lot of these kind of places inside Rome where people are living in this kind of situation. And most of them, they are without documents. They ask asylum and they reject their asylum and they send them out from the camps. For now, I never see any Gambians who have decided to go back home. They spend a lot of money to arrive in Italy, whether you spend it by your own money or your family help you to arrive. They don't tell truth to their parents. They came here to find something. So to go back home without nothing for them is a problem. I can say that's the mentality that most of them, they were blocked here. You cannot go back home, you cannot go in front, so you are in, in a place that you cannot move. I think Europe is easy, you know. But the time I enter Europe, I feel many in the heart I never see in my life. The time I was in Africa. I never feel happy here still. If I have good information, before I leave Gambia, I cannot come out. Because I don't know the situation is like this, you know. But now no solution, I have to stay. You know?